The value of the S21 FE and the Pixel 6 cannot be overstated. Now, I have been using these phones every day for a while now, and in this video, I'm going to be comparing two of them to see which is the best value for money. Now, without taking too much of a time, let's get this party started. Hey guys, my name is KJ Awas, and if you're new here, welcome, and if you're returning, welcome back. Now, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button so more people can see this video and be informed. Now, a little disclaimer before we move forward, I know this is the Pixel 6 Pro, but there is not much of a difference between the 6 Pro and the 6, so I think this comparison between these two phones will hold its weight. So one of the first things I want to start with is the battery life. So a lot of people, including myself, hated the battery life on the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro. Now, for someone like me, I used to get three hours or four hours of screen on time, and that four hours is me even pushing it. But after a couple of days, adaptive battery setting and a few software updates later, it started doing better. I started getting six hours, seven hours, and even eight hours of screen on time. Now, one of the things that annoy me is that why do I need an adaptive battery to kick in for my battery to be good? Why can't I just take it out of the box and it starts working just like the iPhone 13, 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max? Now, if you're not patient, you're going to probably return this phone in the first day or two because your battery life is going to suck. But trust me, if you're patient enough, it rewards you because it reads what you do and puts it in the phone itself. It's pretty nice. The S21, on the other hand, is a 4,500 million pounds of battery. And like I said in my review, it's a one day phone or a day and a half if you're going to push it. And if you want to watch that video, I'll link it right in the description and right up there. I wake up every day by 8 a.m. and I get home by about 8 p.m. And that's even 12 hours after. And I get home to about 2% or 3%, which isn't necessarily bad. But when you compare it to the Pixel 6, this definitely takes the cake because when I get home, it's about 20%, which is a lot better. And of course, adaptive battery takes the cake. So for this segment or for this uh, section, I'm going to give it to the Pixel 6 as the winner when it comes to the battery life. The form factor of both phones differ considerably, but let's start with the Pixel 6. This is a flagship device that feels quite premium in your hand, but at the same time, the glass back and frame isn't exactly helping the phone because this phone right here is very, very slippery that I have to use a case on mine all the time if I want to even carry it outside. Now, compared to the S21 FE that has a plastic frame and it it's not premium in your hand, but it definitely has a better grip than the Pixel 6, and I kind of appreciate that. So for this round, as much as I want to give it to the Pixel 6 because it feels more premium in your hand, the S21 just the S21 FE, sorry, has better grip and feels better in your hand than the Pixel 6. So when it comes to performance, the month of January hasn't really been the best for the Pixel devices or Google in general. Now, a lot of people have come out to say that the Pixel 6 is buggy, the Pixel 6 is inconsistent. As much as that is true to them, and obviously I'm not going to invalidate anybody's truth, I haven't experienced that at all. My Pixel 6 has, or 6 Pro, has been great for the better part of the last, what, how many months since I started using it last year. I haven't really had any issues like most people are having. A lot of people are saying adaptive brightness isn't really that great. Some people are saying their system failure is buggy and whatnot, but for me, everything is just smooth and just fine. Again, I'm not going to invalidate anybody, but with that January update, it definitely increased the performance of the Pixel 6 or the Pixel 6 Pro, which is definitely better. Now, when it comes to the OS itself, I have more or less preferred stock Android to majority of the operating systems that are out there on Android phones. It's quick, it's fast, it doesn't have any bloatware, and it comes with majority of the Google apps that I already use on all my um, laptop computers and iPads. Now, Material U was installed on Android 12, and it's been a game changer for me because I just like the way it looks in terms of the wallpaper design and the widget system. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I just love everything about Material U and Android 12. The S21 FE, on the other hand, has incredible performance. It doesn't lag, it doesn't stutter, and I don't think I've had any issues with it apart from that one time I was transferring all my apps from the Pixel 6 to this phone, and it got pretty hot and it got pretty slow. But apart from that day, apart from day one, it has been smooth sailing from there. Now, installed in this has one UI, which if you already know me by now, or if you've been following the channel for a while, you already know I do not like one UI at all. I'm not really still, still a fan of One UI. One UI is not really my thing. I prefer stock Android. Everything about One UI just seems very gamey and gimmicky to me. Again, it's a trivial thing. It's a personal thing. It's not for everybody, but for me, I just don't like it. One thing I do not like about it is the fact that it has double of everything. So it has Samsung internet, then it has um, Google Chrome. It has Samsung calendar and there's Google calendar. It's kind of annoying, so I just move on and 
don't use it at all, or I just get Nova Launcher and move on. So in terms of who wins this round, I have to give it some sort of a tie because I like something from each one. On the Pixel 6, I like stock Android, and on the S21 FE, I just like the performance. Again, it might be different for you, but for this round, I have to give it a tie. Moving on to the cameras, the Pixel 6 has a dual camera setup of a wide angle lens and an ultra wide lens, while the S21 FE has a triple camera setup of a wide angle lens, a telephoto lens that is the difference between these two devices, and finally, an ultra wide lens. Starting off with the Pixel 6, this phone right here still takes better pictures than the majority of the phones in the world right now. My favorite lens is the wide angle lens because it is the most versatile. Now, my favorite mode, on the other hand, is portrait mode because the subject to background separation is incredible. It is literally chef's kiss. In low light or night mode, it's still one of the best in the world because it captures more lights due to its large sensor in the Pixel 6. Now, the S21, on the other hand, isn't going to beat the Pixel 6 when it comes to taking pictures, but it's pretty decent. In the right lighting conditions, you will get very good pictures. It does take better pictures than most flagships that are out there. Night shots are decent, whereas portrait mode shines the most for me while using the S21 FE. Now, the winner of this round is without a doubt the Pixel 6 because it just takes better pictures than majority of the phones that are out there, and comparing it to the S21 FE kind of whitewashes it, to be fair. Now, if you have to choose between these two phones, the Pixel 6 is $599, while the S21 FE is $699. $599 versus $699. What is your pocket telling you to do? Well, what I advise you guys to do instead is to get the Pixel 6 because this is Google's flagship for the year. It has a better camera, better operating system, and arguably a better battery life. It is a no-brainer and it is a better value for your money. Thank you guys for watching and I'm curious to know your thoughts. Is the Pixel 6 better than the S21 FE or vice versa? Comment below and let me know. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button so this video can be shared with more people. My name is KJ Awas and I will catch you guys in the next one where I talk all things tech.